Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Ist das Ihr Reisepass? Dies ist mein Reisepass und das ist Ihr Reisepass. Danke. Was ist Ihr Nachname? Mein Nachname ist Meier. Und Ihr Vorname? Niklas. Was ist Ihre Adresse hier? Alexanderstraße 1, Berlin. Dankeschön. Wow, there were a lot of new elements in that dialogue. Today, Niklas is going through customs. So let's take a look at his conversation with the customs officer. Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Ist das Ihr Reisepass? Guten Abend. Good evening. Ist das, is that, Ihr Reisepass, your passport? Der Reisepass, the passport. It's a masculine noun, but you know this because of the use of der, right? There was another new word in there. Ihr is what we call a possessive adjective. It's the equivalent of your, just like the formal you, sie. You always write ihr with a capital I. Ihr Reisepass ist da. Your passport is there. Ist das Ihr Reisepass? Is that your passport? Great. Niklas answered. Ja, dies ist mein Reisepass. Und das ist Ihr Reisepass. Again, two new words here. Mein and Ihr. You can guess what they are. Yes. There are also possessive adjectives. Mein is my. Mein. And ihr is her. Ihr. So now we have mein, my. Ihr with a capital I, your. And ihr, her. And what about his? Sein is his. Sein. Just like in English, you use these to express ownership. And they change according to who you're referring to. A few examples. Mein Wasser ist hier. My water is here. Is das Ihr Saft? Is that your juice? Dies ist Ihr Ticket und das ist sein Ticket. This is her Ticket and that is his Ticket. Not that bad, huh? Back to the dialogue. Ja? Dies ist mein Reisepass. Und das ist ihr Reisepass. Ja, dies ist. Yes, this is. Mein Reisepass. My passport. Und das ist. And that is. Ihr Reisepass. No capital letter, so we know it means her. Her passport. Ja, dies ist mein Reisepass. Und das ist ihr Reisepass. 
The clerk then asked, Danke, was ist Ihr Nachname? Danke, thanks. Was ist, what is? Ihr, so the capital I, with context, tells us it refers to your, right. So, Ihr Nachname, your last name. Nachname means last name or surname. Der Nachname, the last name. And the first name is der Vorname. Watch out, the German V always sounds like the English F. Vorname. Both words are derived from the noun der Name, the name. Very similar, except for the pronunciation. Der Name. Okay, so we have der Name, the name. Der Vorname, the first name. Der Nachname, the last name. Pretty easy, huh? Was ist Ihr Nachname? What's your last name? Nicholas said, Mein Nachname ist Maya. My last name is Meyer. Und Ihr Vorname? And your first name? Nicholas. Nicholas. The clerk went on. Was ist Ihre Adresse hier? Literally, what's your address here? Die Adresse? The address. Pay attention. There's only one D in German. Die Adresse. Let's take a closer look at this question. Was ist Ihre Adresse hier? What's your address here? Why is there an E at the end of Ihre? Well, that's because possessives like Ihr work just like the articles we have learned so far. The, ending, the endings change according to the gender of the noun. In other words, Each possessive adjective has a neuter form, a masculine form and a feminine form. Let's see how it works with some words we know down cold. Neuter, das Wasser, the water. Masculine, der Bus, the bus. Feminine, die Rechnung, the bill. Neuter, masculine, feminine. To say, my water, you'd say, mein Wasser. My bus, mein bus. And before a feminine noun, my bill, meine Rechnung. So we have, mein, my. Mein, my, and meine, my. We already know an article that uses the same endings. Ein, a. Ein, a. Eine, a. Basically, The only change is the final E for the feminine. Meine, eine. And good news. The endings are the same for every possessive adjective, so you'd say, neuter, ihr Wasser, your water. Masculine, ihr Bus, 
your boss. Feminine, ihre Rechnung, your bill. Neuter, masculine, feminine. Sein, Wasser, his water. Sein, Bus, his bus. Seine, Rechnung, his bill. Ihr, Wasser, her water. Ihr, Bus, her bus. Ihre, Rechnung, her bill. Great. So two things to keep in mind for these words. Who is the owner of the noun? And what's the gender of the noun? We're still missing one final rule, but it follows the same patterns we've been learning. Remember how masculine articles change their endings when they're direct objects? When this is the case, these articles end in en. For example, you'd say, dieser Kaffee ist gut. This coffee is good. But ich möchte diesen Kaffee. I want this coffee. So dieser turns into diesen, right? Well, the same happens with possessive adjectives. Their endings change to en. So let's say, my coffee is good. Mein Kaffee ist gut. But if you want to say, I want my coffee, then you'd say, Ich möchte meinen Kaffee. Another example. Ihr Tee ist sehr gut. Your tea is very good. But Sie möchten Ihren Tee trinken. You want to drink your tea. And the same thing would happen to Sein. Sein Tee ist sehr gut. His tea is very good. Er möchte seinen Tee trinken. He wants to drink his tea. Or ihr. Ihr Tee ist sehr gut. Her tea is very good. Sie möchte ihren Tee trinken. She wants to drink her tea. Excellent. So pay attention to the function of masculine nouns for neuter and feminine, no problem. All right, let's finish this dialogue. The clerk asked Nicholas for his address. Was ist Ihre Adresse hier? What's your address here? Alexanderstraße 1, Berlin. Alexander Street 1. Berlin, or 1 Alexander Street, Berlin. To give an address, you first give the name of the street and then the number. Alexanderstraße 1, 1 Alexander Street. Pay attention. Here 1 is pronounced 1. We'll come back to the number soon. For now, just use the numeral. The clerk finally said, Danke schön. Thank you. And we are done. Wow, that was a long session. As we already pointed out, endings change all the time in German. They are one of the toughest parts of German grammar. The key to internalizing them is practice, practice and more practice. So let's start right now with the workout. Good luck.